It took a jury two hours to undo what some believe was an 18-year injustice. Two men who were convicted of murder and rape, now exonerated, but for the victim's family, this case is far from closed. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports on the $36 million decision. A federal jury has awarded John Restivo $1 million for every year he spent in prison. A million dollars a year, it isn't going to give me back those 18 years, right? But I think that was fair. The most important thing to me was that the county was finally held accountable for ruining my life. $18 million each to Restivo and co-defendant Dennis Halstead, both exonerated a decade ago for the 1984 murder and rape of Lindbrook teenager Teresa Fusco. DNA evidence not available at the time later cleared them. The civil jury ruled against Nassau County, believing a detective planted hair from the victim's head in Restivo's van and withheld other evidence. They crossed the line. They, they, they made up evidence. They hid evidence that didn't help their case. Um, and and, and this, is, this is the result. 30 years of hell for two, two families. Not one bit of innocence in them. But for Connie Napoli, the award is salt in a wound that never healed. She still believes Restivo and Halstead are guilty of murdering her 16-year-old daughter and that the civil jury didn't hear all the evidence. All they have is these guys crying how much they've suffered. What about my suffering? No match was ever found to the DNA. After spending 6,500 days in prison for a crime he says he didn't commit, Restivo now wants the Nassau DA to re-examine cases related to the now deceased detective on his case. Because, I mean, how many more people did they do this to? The victim's mother says she hopes Nassau County appeals the $36 million judgment and that Restivo and Halstead never see a penny. Restivo says he's elated by the verdict, but what he really wants is his old life back. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. A third man also exonerated in this case, John Kogut, was not part of the civil trial. Nassau County had no comment on the verdict. <laughs>